Well, the day has finally come where we have to say goodbye to yet another Google product, but super fans of Inbox by Gmail, Spark for Android has strategically released right on cue. But just how does it stack up? Well, let's find out. Hey there, Damien here again for 95 Google, and this is Spark for Android, which if you're an avid user of Inbox, then it might be the almost perfect replacement. So delving into Spark, you can see just where the design cues have been taken from. As an email client, there are some definite hints of Inbox here, which will no doubt warm the cockles of anyone unwilling to quite let go of Inbox. The layout is almost identical with priority notifications kept at the top of the app for easy access. The Smart Inbox layout prioritizes emails based upon a few admittedly small sections that include newsletters, shows you pinned or starred emails, and then you have any recently read or seen. That pales in comparison to the number of bundles found on Inbox, but we hope that will increase with further updates. At the top of the Smart Inbox, you'll find any notifications showing you only the most recent three email threads, which you can expand or simply clear like you would on Inbox by ticking these off. It's all relatively simple and par for the course at this point. Now it's at this stage where the customization begins to differ. You're given plenty of options to change what happens when you swipe emails away. You can adjust widgets for quick access, but there are limitations to how many of those you can have on the display at once and the position of those widgets. Being given some customization options will be welcomed, but they aren't exactly that in depth. Here's hoping that we'll see some further customization options at a later date. The custom scheduling options, which it's worth noting are coming to Gmail, offer you the ability to send later today, which you can tweak to your heart's content. Beyond these pretty standard basics, Spark is marketed also as a proper email client for Teams, doing so by allowing you to create collaborative drafts that can be edited by people you invite. In my experience, it works very similar in the manner to Google Docs and in practice seems to work pretty well. Beyond that, there isn't a great deal more to say, so in essence, Spark for Android is a solid email client that mimics the main structure of Inbox with a few parts missing and a few extras thrown in to fill the gap. If you're a massive fan of Inbox and unwilling to let go, then Spark might actually be a bridge to a brand new email client. For anyone else, it's just simply a good email application. Before we go, we'd love to know if you have any alternatives that you'd like to share. Throw them in the comments section below. Remember to subscribe to the channel for more content just like this. But as always, this is Damien for 95 Google and I will speak to you later.